This video, sponsored by, Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't wanna waste what's left. And on and on we'll go. In case you don't want to follow this tutorial, you can buy this template from the link in the description. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Liquid Cartoon Lyrics. As always, I'm using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, and for this tutorial, I'm using the frame rate of 12. I am also keeping a duration of 20 seconds. You should keep the exact duration of your song. For example, if your song duration is 5 minutes, then you should keep the 5 minute duration. But I'm going with the 20 seconds. Hit OK, and then create a new solid layer. I am calling it background. Use this type of dark blue color, and then hit OK. Now make a duplicate of this layer, and call it texture. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fractal noise. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the contrast value to 150, and the brightness value to negative 60. Now open transform, and change the scale value to 500. We will use this offset turbulence for animating this noise by applying an expression. For that, Press and hold the ALT, or OPTION key on your keyboard, and click on this stopwatch icon to add an expression. In this expression area, type WIGGLE, parentheses, 2,3000. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Well, we need to slow down this animation. So for fixing it, again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the posterize time. Place it right below the fractal noise, and then change the frame rate value to 3. It means, the animation frame rate will be 3 frames per second. Now change the blend mode of it. In case this mode tab is not available here, press F4 to switch between. Or right click here, go to columns, and choose modes. Now change the mode to the screen, and it will merge with the background. Let's change the opacity value to 10%, and this is looking much better. Let's add our text now. Go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. I have copied my text, so I'm going to paste it right here. Let's add a line break here to place it in two lines. Now eject from the typing box, and then align your text into the center. Please note, I am using this Cuddle Bunny font, and the font size is 120 pixels. You can download this font from the link in the description. Now go to around 2 second position, and solo this layer so that we can focus on it only. Select the text layer, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the rotate characters. Apply it to the layer by double clicking on it, and the text will start animating right away. This is a pretty basic animation. Now press U to reveal all keyframes, then go to the first keyframe position. Again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the increased tracking. In some cases, if you apply multiple text animation presets, the first animation preset will disappear. It is because the animation preset by default applied to the animator 1 properties. So before applying the other text preset, make sure to select your text layer, instead of the animator 1. So select the text layer, 
and then double click on this preset for applying it. Now you can see both text animation presets are working fine. Again, go to the effects and the presets, and search for the turbulent displace. Place it onto the layer, and then change the amount value to 300, as well as the size value to 70. And this is how the text looks. Now go to the first keyframe position, and then add a keyframe on the amount. Here change the amount value to 0. Now press U to reveal all keyframes, go to the second keyframe position, and change the amount value to 300. Also, I am changing the displacement to twist. And this is how it looks. Let's go to the first keyframe position, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the simple choker. Place it right below the turbulent displace, and then add a keyframe on choke mat. Then go to the second keyframe position, and change the choke mat value to a higher number. Let's keep the value 50. And this is how the text will look now. Not bad. Let's quickly adjust the keyframes, and this is looking much better. Now select all keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Check the animation, and see if you like it. I think the tracking amount should be lower. So go to the end keyframe position, and change the tracking amount value to 20. And this is looking much better. I am also increasing the turbulent displacement value to 500, so that the liquid animation will appear nicely. As you can see, there are some particles left here, which is showing after the animation has been completed. Don't worry, we can trim out this section later. Let's make the animation in first. Go to the first keyframe position, and then we will be using the tracking amount, turbulent displace, and the choke mat. So select their first keyframe, copy them. And paste them right here. Do the same with all effects. I'm copying the first keyframe, and pasting it right here. Now select all keyframes, and place them on around 5 frames position. Now select the last keyframe, and paste it right here. Do the same with all the effects. And this is how the text will look now. This is going to be animate, in, and out. Now go to the end keyframe position, where you want to stop the text appearing, then press Ctrl, or Command Shift D, to split the layer. Now select the top layer, and delete it. Here we have this section only. We will use it to make multiple lyrics for the video. It's time for the music. Import your music file into the project, and then press L double times, to see the waveform. Now I'm going to place this waveform to the left, so that it will start right on the lyrics. Of course, you should follow your song pattern. The first text layer is showing at the correct timing, so we don't need to fix anything here. Now select this layer, and place it above the music layer. Then make a duplicate of it, and place this top layer to the right. The starting position of this layer should follow the lyrics of the song. Select this text layer, and replace the text with another line. This time I'm using this line. Add the line break, and then make sure to align your text into the center. Check the animation, and see if you need to adjust anything. Okay, the text looks nice. But I think I need to trim down this bottom layer, so that the particles won't appear at the second text layer visibility. I'm doing the same with this top layer as well. Check the animation, and this is looking much better now. Now we need to adjust some keyframes, so that they will match with the song. Again, press U to reveal all keyframes, select the last keyframes. 
and place them a few frames to the right, so that the animation will stay a little longer. You can also increase the end of the layer. Hold me close till I get up Thumb is belly on our side I don't Perfect. This is looking much better. Let's quickly add more text layers. I am fast forwarding this step to save some time. You should spend more time matching the lyrics with the song timing. I have added around 4 text layers, and this is how my lyrics looks now. Not bad. Let's minimize all layers to get some room, and then unsolo these text layers, so that we can see the whole animation completely. Now I'm going to add a shape line to these lyrics. So make sure to unselect any selected layer, then go to the tools, and select the pen tool. Please note, my fill is set to none, and my stroke is set to a solid color. And my stroke size is 10 pixels. Now go to the point where you want to add your first line animation. And then draw a straight line like this. I'm drawing some waves in my line. But you are free to do anything you want. Now rename this layer as the line, and then open it. Here click on the add button, and choose trim paths. Now open trim paths, and then change the end value to 0%. Then go to the first keyframe position, and add a keyframe on the start, as well as the end. Then go to around 1 second position, and then change the start value to 100%. As well as the end value to 100%. Now select the start keyframes, and place them to the right a few frames, so that the stroke will look like this. Solo this line layer, so that we can focus on it only. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Not bad. Now select all keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. In case you want the animation to stay a little longer, you can select the end keyframes, and drag them to the right. Now minimize this trim path, and then open shape 1. Here open stroke 1. Now change the line cap to the round cap. If you are using the newer version of After Effects, you will find this taper option. Simply open it, and then change the start length value to 50%. In case this taper option is not available, then you can totally skip this step. Now select this line layer, again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the roughen edges. Apply it onto the layer and then change the border value to 3. And it will add some roughness into the shape line. Nice. Let's unsolo this layer, and then align it with the text. Again select this shape layer, and press U to reveal all keyframes. Then go to the end keyframe position, and split this layer. Select the top part, and then delete it. Now select this layer once again, and use the arrow key to place it at this position. This is looking nice. Let's make another duplicate of it. I am going to place it on the second text layer. Now we don't need to create this line shape again and again. Press G, to select the pen tool, now grab the anchor points, and change the shape of this line. You can randomly choose any shape you want. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Not bad. Now, if you want to add some colors to the text, you can do it very easily. Select your text layer, go to the timing where you can see your whole text, then select the text tool. Click on your text layer, and then select the part which you want to show in a different color. I'm using this bottom section. And then change the color to a different one.
Let's keep this yellow orange color, and then hit OK. You can do the same with all other text layers. Let's quickly do that, and this is how it looks. Let's move to the next step. Create a new solid layer, and call it noise. I'm using this bright gray color, and then hit OK. Now, select this layer, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC star burst. Apply it onto the layer, and change the scatter value to 500, and the grid spacing value to 10. Also, change the size value to 50. Again go to the effects and the presets, and apply turbulent displace. Place it right below the CC star burst, and change the displacement to twist. Also, change the amount value to 500. Now open this evolution option, and here we have this random seed. Press and hold the Alt, or Option key on your keyboard, and click on this stopwatch icon to add an expression. In this expression area, type random, parentheses. Type 10 inside these parentheses. It will randomly generate the C value. Let's minimize all layers by pressing U on your keyboard. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the posterized time. Place it right below the turbulent displace, and change the frame rate value to 3. Now the last step, create a new adjustment layer, and call it shake. Place it on top of all layers, and then apply a wiggle position effect on it. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the wiggle position. Apply it to the layer, and change the wiggle amount to 10. And it will start wiggling randomly. Now all we need to change the background scale value to a higher number. Let's keep the value 110%. And now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one, till then, good luck, and peace. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download, After Effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, web templates, and more. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description.